Hey guys, even here, and this video we're gonna start with an update of Flex Wheeler. So you probably already saw that he posted this strange post about a week ago, a video of himself in the backstage and a caption, time to say goodbye to the dreamer. Everybody was so worried and he also posted this photo from the hospital a couple of days before this. He did not really explain what that meant, but it looked bad. It looked like he was suicidal or something like that. Everybody was assuming the worst. Now we know. Now we know what happened. Now we know why he posted that. And now we know how his health is right now. And it's not good. It's not good. Let me show you a little part of the video from Muscle & Fitness, The Menace Podcast, where Flex explains pretty much everything. Being that, uh, you know, I'm a kidney transplant patient, you know, still having a GI problem, but mostly right now uh, it's a kidney problem because it's really unstable now. My numbers are super unstable. Uh, so uh, they scheduled me uh, for a uh, kidney biopsy to go in because the kidney is 20 years old. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, average kidneys don't last over uh, seven years is the average uh, life for a kidney. So um, that's when, donors... you, when you get a kidney transplant, just just just, <clears throat> just to make sure we understand correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you get a kidney transplanted normally for just something a normal person only la, um, lasts about seven years. Twenty years is an amazing just for a healthy person with a uh, with a kidney transplant. So um, you know the kidney's done its job, but it's showing definitely signs of wear and tear and weakness. So so they're concerned now that it might start to uh, like Chris said, got something in my throat. <clears> throat> uh, <laughs> But uh, it's starting to show um, some signs of a uh, failure. Mm. Yeah, so you heard it. It's pretty bad. Pretty bad news. Um, his kidneys are failing. Now, you can say it is a good news that his kidneys lasted 20 years. Even though, as he says, I didn't know about this, uh, kidneys, when you get a transplant, they usually last about 7 years. But his lasted 20 years. And if you guys want more details, I definitely encourage you to watch Muscle & Fitness Podcast. It is my second favorite podcast right now, bodybuilding podcast. Right after Fuad's podcast, this one is probably my favorite, especially the old school round table episode. So if you want more details, go ahead and watch the podcast. But what Flex also says is that one person is allowed to have two kidney transplant surgeries. So if you get one and your kidneys fail, you get to do it one more time. And after that, they would rather give a new kidney to somebody who is younger who has more chance of surviving so basically that means that flex actually has another chance and he still has to do that biopsy as he says the numbers are not good and again his kidney surpassed the average life expectancy of a transplanted kidney it actually lasted three times longer than it was supposed to and he has this kind of disease he also talks about that that is destroying his kidneys but apparently his kidney lasted way longer than anybody could predict so he actually has a fighting chance I don't know how it works now, what are even the chances of getting a new kidney in time. I don't know if that's gonna be a problem, but if he gets one in time, he actually can survive this. You are probably thinking that the reason why he posted this was, you know, basically him uh, saying goodbye to everybody because he thought he was gonna die after he heard uh, the bad news. But he actually explains why he posted this, so let me show you. You put a post up two, two days ago where you said, say, say goodbye. Say goodbye to the dreamer. Can can you clear that up? What you meant by that? You know, I, I consider myself a dreamer. You know, in, in bodybuilding and, and everything. So, um, I've done that same video again before, and I just I would just say the dreamer. Um, so, if you listen to the music, the second song was really powerful. It's talking. Um, I can't remember, and I don't want to ruin it. Go back, whoever was thinking. I go back and listen to the video and listen to that second song, and you hear the words. And that's what I'm saying. Basically, they're saying that they can never have this, that they're dreaming. So I'm just saying, you know, mm -hmm. say goodbye to the dream. Yeah, a, a lot of people took it as, uh, oh, Flex Wheeler is saying goodbye. He's, you know, is he suicidal? Is he, is he, does he know something we don't know? Just I, mean, wanted, I just wanted to clear that up. Would I really use Instagram as a platform to tell people <laughs> that? All right, so you heard the explanation of what this post meant. 
Anyways, this guy, Flex Wheeler, he has been through so much bad stuff in his life and now he has to fight again. So I hope he's gonna stay strong. Uh, we got bad news about Flex Wheeler. His kidney seems to be failing. Is he gonna get a transplant in time? Is it gonna work? I mean, those surgeries are really high risk. So definitely not, not very good news. But, you know, it is what it is. He's a warrior and I'm sure he's going to fight this like hell. Alright, next up we have a prodigy of Flex Wheeler, Andrew Jacked, who looks insane right now. So Milo Sharchi posted a couple of videos of Andrew posing in the Dragon Slayer gym and he looks like he could win Texas Pro. I can see this happening because this guy has such a freaky frame and look at that chest, look at the separation everywhere. He's actually bringing conditioning this time around and with this silhouette, with this kind of genetics, with this kind of bubbly 3D popping everywhere type of look, he's going to do really well. I'm expecting him to at least be in that top three, which would be ridiculous, which would be crazy considering that this guy was an amateur only a couple of months ago. He actually turned pro at the Arnold Classic this year. That's right, he was an amateur before that. He definitely didn't look like an amateur, but he was. Now he looks like a, like a legit pro. Look at a side chest. Look at his freaking side chest. It looks, wow, amazing amazing especially the chest we're gonna look at another video a couple of other poses but before we get to that take a look at this photo right here him standing next to flex lewis and steve weinberger so he actually is enormous he's actually really big he's a tall guy and he actually packs a lot of muscle on his frame now winning texas that's gonna be really tough because it is a tall man show you know you also have steve kuklo who really wants that qualification for the mr olympia because he missed it last year by a very close mark and he really wants it this year and he looks to be bringing really good conditioning and also a lot of size so he seems to be the favorite but can Andrew beat him it's possible it's possible I don't know I have to see them compared on the stage but it looks like this guy is a legit freak there is also Quinton area who looks amazing who is also a tall guy and there is a former 212 Mr. Olympia Kamal El Gargni so winning tax is gonna be really really tough but Andrew actually looks like he's bringing it and that he actually has whatever it takes now the only thing that is throwing me off on his physique is obviously his calves he really has bad small tiny calves I mean compare his calves to Flex's calves and Flex is actually natural right now if you believe him or not he says that he is and he has really crazy calf genetics also he's much shorter but you know he has really good long insertions of calves like they are very low inserted while Andrew's calves are really high inserted the judges though do not care about this really if you guys do not know that by now i dm'd paul lozon who is uh, a part of what podcast who is also a pro judge i actually asked him uh, do judges care about calves and he says to be totally honest calves are not given much attention by judges it can be a factor when trying to decide in a tight class and in my opinion they do add to the overall look and development of the lower body but if i'm being totally honest it is very rare that they are considered in a lineup so there you go guys calves do not matter after all which is obviously a really good thing for andrew because he basically has no calves Here's the second part of that video, now you can see his back a little bit more, you can see his back lat spread, so he definitely has a lot of muscle on his back, and now from the sides, that's where he looks impressive to me. His calves are throwing me off, honestly, they are really not matching his upper legs. Now as far as the upper body, take a look at those triceps and, and shoulders and chest, he's really dominant in that area. Uh, his quads are good, but he's definitely more dominant in the upper body, and he's a tall guy, also he has really long legs limbs like he actually has really long arms but it doesn't hurt his physique he actually added a lot of muscle on those long arms also very small waist really aesthetic looking midsection he has that going on for him which is definitely a big plus today especially and look at the most muscular here you can see the conditioning that he is bringing look at the chest look at the shoulders this right now is the best conditioning that i ever saw of andrew jack and there is still about two weeks to go until texas so he's definitely gonna be in shape if you're worried about that. 
And that kind of was the main criticism that he received from the people who are doubting him. They are saying if he brings the conditioning, then this, then that. And it looks like he's actually bringing it this time around. He's being coached by George Farah and also he's working with Flex Wheeler. So I'm not sure who is really doing what. I'm sure George Farah is doing the diet. But as far as the training and probably the posing, Flex Wheeler, I think, is helping him with that. Anyways, whatever these guys are doing, it's obviously working. And Ander Jack is bringing his best ever and even though it's his pro debut he's in the conversation for winning that Texas pro what do you guys think do you have this guy potentially winning Texas or Arnold Classic UK whatever is on your mind tell me in the comment section down below and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up for more videos like this subscribe to my channel guys thank you so much for watching all the best and bye bye